So I have got um, two kilos of Perculite 2, which is a high density casting powder. Um, for every two kilos, I use a uh, hundred thousand ml of water, so it's quite an easy ratio to work to. Um, it gives you a nice flowing casting plaster. Um, I'm just going to give it a final stir. And all we're going to do is let's start off with some trinket pots. Um, simply pour. Turn around and go the other way, you'll be able to see the consistency. So it's just going to flow in there nicely. We'll just pour all our moulds until we've used it up. Okay. These are the candle vessels. This is this is the God. <laughs> this is the small. Wow, it's been a long day. This is its lid. Just want to fill to the rim of that. Then we've got the medium vessel lid. Quite, it's quite good. You've got about 50, what, about 10, 15 minutes, depending on your environment, work time. There. This is a little urn. I'm going to make this because I'm going to show you how to demold the little urn. They look quite tricky. They can be quite tricky. They are quite difficult if you do have problems with your hand. But all of our moulds are designed to turn inside out. Just do some lids. Got the incense holder. Same again, we're going to use the brush on the incense holder. Got the medium lid, I've got a little bit left, so I've always got a couple of little moulds on the table for waste. I'm going to do these little lids and I'm going to show you how to get the best from your lid. Need our spatula. Most importantly, we're going to need our brush. Now, air gets stuck, as you're all aware. So, every mould in and around the base of the mould, this will stop any air that's trapped on the bottom. And then, just on the inside, oh, Mr. Tennant, I know this, I'll splash the wall. Give it a wash off. Once again, in around the mould, around the lip, in around the mould. Same again on all of them. Um, this one's good. This is the lid to the medium trinket pot, which has got a knobbly part that you pull. If you just sort of bang it inside the lid, it will release any bubbles and then around the lip. Notice I'm washing my brush off each time. And the reason is, is because plaster dries really, really quickly, especially on a brush. And what you want to do is you want to keep your bristles as soft as possible. So by Continuously just rinsing it off just means that you're keeping it soft. You're not going to leave any horrible marks in the mould. We're going to run all that. These, these are pretty easy. So what we want to do is just make sure we push all air bubbles out of the way, especially on these because they do have an undercut. Just give it a squirt. And these are the little lids, the little tea light lids, and you've got the individual in the 150, and it's got that lip. We just want to go around it on both of them and that'll just push any air out of the way. Um, incense holder once again all the way around the outside. Need your brush and then just give them all a quick tap. Um, they're block moulds so you don't have to be too gentle with them, they're self-supporting so you're not gonna 
knock them over or push them. Just a quick tap. Whichever way you find easier, we're just going to go on. Take our spatula, our silicone spatula, and wipe the excess. Just means less sand in the bases and bottoms. You get that nice, smooth, you know, obviously, if your pot doesn't need it or your tea light doesn't need it. Just gives it that extra smooth, less faff. I hate sanding. Gets in your nails, your nose. Just wipe them off. They're a little bit bigger. I normally steal a ruler from Mr. Devon. He doesn't know. So eventually, the, with these particular lids, this top will be the top of your pot. So it may actually require a little bit more sanding, um, but if you can get it as smooth as possible this time around, obviously once again, less work for you. So we're gonna let them dry and we'll come back and demold them in a minute. 